WDBO. We're talking to Mike right now. Mike's got something going on with his 2019 Ford Ranger. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, Larry. Thanks uh, for taking the call. And uh, I found you back in the mid-90s, and I've been listening ever since. Um, uh, My question is now uh, my truck's about three, a little over three years old now, and I know you usually say that you usually get about three years out of a battery in Florida. Um, And I've also noticed that if I'm listening to the radio with the accessory with the ignition switch in the accessory position uh after about 10 to 15 minutes i get a warning saying shutting the system off because of low battery or so i'm thinking okay well maybe it's time to start thinking about another new battery and uh i know you used to recommend the interstate and i think it was also the napa batteries but i wanted to double check that and my last point on this is is anybody start to use the lithium batteries instead of the lead acid batteries? Um, you know, the closest that we have for uh, those types of batteries are your um, your what they call your matte batteries. Uh, they're glass matte batteries. Um, they 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 do a real good job, and uh, I would probably prefer to have them as I would a a lithium in that case you know see the lithium battery for an electric car you know it can store a, a large amount of uh, voltage and and you know and it can displace it easily the the thing is is when you're dealing with something like an alternator um you know it it really uh, I, don't, I don't think the two would really coincide um you know uh, I think you would have electrical problems if you were to try to run a, a, a you know a 12 volt system off of a lithium battery. Um, it, it would be interesting. I have never done that, uh, but but it would be interesting to see what happens and how an alternator would react to it. Um, as far as the quality of a battery goes, and, and you know, like I said, folks, this is this is my opinion when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Um, we used to sell interstate batteries, and something happened. Seemed like quality wise to them whenever at one point they went you know usually it was automotive shops that's all there that's all there was as far as who carried an interstate battery if you weren't an automotive shop they they typically wouldn't stock a you know an interstate battery and they were really good batteries for many many years and then they went and they started wholesaling them out at Costco uh, you know and they were selling them for less money than an automotive shop and we asked them well so what's the difference oh it's a complete different battery. And I said, well, what if somebody has a failure with one of them and they bring it back to us for warranty purposes? And they said, oh, you can't take back a Costco battery. And I said, well, why is that? He goes, well, they're downline batteries. You know, I'm like, so, so wait a minute. You're selling a cheap, a cheap version of a battery that the automotive shops are, are selling that basically built the brand name and the dependability factor of, of Interstate. And the answer was yes. I'm like, okay, now this is going to be real interesting. So you're going to sell junk batteries, and, and, and we're going to have people coming back to us that we can't help because they have to go back to Costco. Well, you can imagine just how long that took. Uh, I made my mind up rather quickly at that point. And, you know, as you've heard me mention in the past, a Napa battery, they're Napa Legend Series batteries. They're made by DECA, and those are some of the – last hand built batteries they are in the united states and they are very very good batteries it's the only thing i'll put in a boat because i can get three four years out of them in a boat as opposed to maybe one year in any other application uh and and you just learn over the over time you know it just the the legend batteries especially their marine batteries they're the best freaking batteries i think there is and they're great in automotive applications as well now, the AC Delco batteries, which is what we stock at the shop now, those are really good batteries. You know, I mean, the, the failure rate is almost none. I mean, in a, in a you know, a four or five year, old, year period, those batteries last a long time. So AC Delco and Napa batteries, you know, and um, Napa does not sponsor this show like they did years ago. And I, so I'm just telling you, uh, no, I don't have anything at stake with this. I'm just telling you, an AC Delco or a Napa battery would be at the top of my list. 
Thank you so much, Mike. That opens up a line for you to talk to Larry out of this break. 844 Hi, folks. Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.